Hi, this is Pastor Mike. We're we're taking a couple of oh, you're uh, right now. yeah, we're taking a couple of people up to uh, up to uh, where they're staying up near Lowe's in uh, in Ormond. We just finished with the feeding, and uh, a couple of thoughts came to mind: is that uh, you know we wish uh, as um, as people in the ministry that we could get more help uh, in feeding people. There was a lot of a lot of needs that were identified. A lot of people that we we had an opportunity to share with uh, and help them in in the limited way that we can. What it's really going to take is a serious commitment by uh, the faith-based organizations, uh, the, the elected leaders, are to say that shelter can't wait. We have to do something to mitigate. A lot of people talk about homeless prevention, giving people um, sacks of groceries, uh, with the idea that giving somebody food who's already in housing uh, somehow is going to reduce their, um, their risk for homelessness. And that's an admirable effort. But where I, where I uh, focus is on the people that are already homeless. Let's talk about homeless mitigation. Homeless mitigation is easing the suffering and making it less painful for the people that are already in that situation. And that's a hard thing to get help with. We, um, we, talk, about, um, we talk about helping the homeless and it seems like, it seems like there's organizations and individuals and you know, I don't want to throw brickbats or rocks about any of the, any of the homeless advocates you know, because I know that we're all, you know, we all have a heart you know, for helping the, our, our homeless brothers and sisters, the least, as, as the Bible teaches in Matthew 25, the least of these. As you did unto the least of these, you did it unto me. So we know that, you know, as Christians, that we're, we're not just, it's not a suggestion. It's actually, it's actually a commandment. Uh, you know, Jesus did say, this would be a good idea, you know, or I suggest that you do this, or it would be good if you, he just says, do it. And, and that's, to me, I take that as a, as a commandment, you know, really, uh, because if you were, you know, if you were, if you're naked, I clothed you, we handed out clothes today, uh, we talked about people that were in prison, I actually bailed somebody out of jail who was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and, and I, I felt, uh, I felt sorry for this person, because she was uh, coming up on her, actually her last visit with her, with her son, she's been separated from her son for uh, a number of years uh, so uh, if she was in if she was in jail she would not be able to visit her son so that's what really moved me to you know to step up and get her out of jail so you know I was in prison and you got me out I fed you and I clothed you you know that that's exactly what the Bible you know teaches us to do and, and again uh, you know the, the good Christians you know that that are uh, trying to, you know, act, uh, you know, to act in accordance with, uh, with their teachings. You know, you really got to take action. You have to actually do something. You got to get out of the pew, go out to North Street or City Island or Manatee Island or Salvation Army. Go where the needs are and help and do whatever you can, even if it's a cold water bottle or you know or a kind word or a sandwich you know you just have to, it's just something that just needs to be done and it, you know, it breaks my heart to see people out there suffering and I, and I want to do you know I want to do all that I can you know, you know to ease the suffering we're trying to get the elected leaders to uh, you know to actually uh, uh, walk the walk instead of talking the talk People talk about, you know, they have a heart for the homeless and they, they don't like to see the hardships. And what that means is they want to build a, a multi-million dollar building, you know, west of the city and bus people, you know, out hey, of Pastor, the city. Hey, Pastor, no yes. offense. Yeah. They won't even let my dog in the mission. Look um, at this pretty dog right now. I, I know. The dog is, dog is great. And if I had... Can you I, show I, her I would, on the thing? I wish, yeah. Look at this pretty dog. Um, won't even let her in the mission. She's my seizure dog for having seen her. You have epilepsy. So do I. Well, it's supposed, he's supposed to watch her. You know, he watches her. 
man. Yeah, they absolutely. won't let him in. They go in and eat with him. I got to sit out and watch the dog yeah. while he goes Take and eat. Take a turn. No. I, I, is that right? 